We're gonna get some great acts out here, uh, including a person you may know. Let's hear it right now for Storm. Give it up for Storm. Cameron Esposito! Well, that doesn't seem very safe, does it? No. Okay. All right, this segment is Rapid Fire Q&A. The way this is going to work is I will call out our quiz cateers. Uh, they will be standing in a line, and I will ask one question that each of them will answer. First person will answer, pass the mic to the next, wash, rinse, repeat. So I would like to introduce right now, Gene Gray, Clint McElroy, Quanta Chris, Drew Westfall, aka Scarface, Bonnie Burton, and Travis McElroy. Quiz Cateers, have you been briefed on the proceedings? Sure. Gene, you will have to speak for the assembly. Sure. Yes. All yes, right. Are you ready to get right to it? Because we have about nine minutes to get through 59,000 questions. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Here we go. At brunch, do you usually prefer breakfast or lunch? At what? Do you prefer breakfast or lunch at brunch? Breakfast or lunch? At uh, 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 lunch. Oh, breakfast. Otherwise, it's just derivative. <laughs> breakfast. Jesus, breakfast, Gene. <laughs> uh, brunch. Ooh. Ooh. Both? <laughs> That's how it works, folks. Lights on or lights off? <laughs> on? Both. <laughs> yeah, be pre Accept yourself. Turn the lights on. Keep the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> Interpret it as you like. <laughs> then, then it's lights off. Black light. You gotta be so clean for black lights. <laughs> That's my answer. All right. What would you personally never put in a smoothie? My finger. <laughs> Jean's finger. <laughs> Jean's finger. <laughs> frozen shrimp. Uh, Jean's frozen finger. <laughs> Jean's other finger. <laughs> we now know the least desirable smoothie in the world is a shrimp and Jean finger smoothie. <laughs> You know what? Together, though, I think it would work. I'll, why don't we try it later? Let's not. What's your battle cry? I'm Travis! I'm not Travis! Please don't kill me. I just work for this cruise. Please. I just, I just, I just was doing the cruise. I didn't mean to, to go into a battle. That's why you keep getting cut down in battle. It has to be right to the point. Hi, you guys. <laughs> Festoonery! <laughs> Least favorite holiday. Does not have to be a real holiday. I, I don't have one. I enjoy celebrating, and we all should. Woo! But I'm going to go with Toe Fungus Day. <laughs> don't like that day at all. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, the, the, uh, the, the day. Of um of kitten hate. I was gonna say Valentine's Day, but I'm going with Day of Kitten Hate. That day sucks. Hmm. 
Festival of Presidential Toupees. <laughs> Arbor Day. Woo! Because fuck those trees. Fuck trees. Fuck trees. They've had it too good for too long. <laughs> what have they ever done for us? <laughs> Not a thing. Hey, Not a thing. Not a thing. Get out there and fuck those trees. Wait. <laughs> I'm glad we resolved that one. <laughs> Fill in the blank, the key to success is... A key. <laughs> the key to success... Damn it, why did you have to say keys? <laughs> the key to success... I'm just gonna go with trees? <laughs> Can I just do that? Okay. Sure. No, Mom, it's not a key. You just, you get in and you just press the start button. <laughs> it works. It, I... An open mind. Um, leeching off your three very successful podcasting sons. It works every time. Uh, C sharp. Guns. Since we are in music, a song that always makes you happy. Happy? It, he did a fucking great job. I get really fucking sick of it sometimes, but I'm like, it's still fucking good. The night Chicago died. Yeah. Moving right along. Woo. Uh, Break Free by Ariana Grande. Break Free by Ariana Grande. I really like that song. It's a good jam. All right. Um, anything not by 311. <laughs> one for One DiMaggio by Wolfpack. It's not a funny joke. It's just a song I like that you should all listen to. We are also after truth, so that's a fantastic answer. We only have three minutes left, and I feel like this is important to all of your present selves because of what happens in the past. And this will make sense. Whoa, slow in down. Wow. In five words or fewer, what would you tell your 12-year-old self? This is our final question. Five words or fewer. Um... No. Uh, five words of your words, anyway, 12 year old self, I would say, do you need me to take over? And then I would just stay there and be my younger self, but bigger. It's like big. It's a dream I've always had that I could travel in time. If I had the power of time, I wrestled in middle school. And if I had. We'll talk about this later. But if I had control over time, I would travel back in time, freeze time, and then replace middle schooler travelers with me. <laughs> And then unfreeze time. And that would make me the happiest I think I possibly could ever be. So that's my five word answer. Woo! That's like the best screenplay ever right there. Um, grow better weed. Just come out already. Hmm, I would go with, you're, you're, you're really fucking cool and people just don't know it yet. You really will go blind. <laughs> Sorry, Jim, we already have a winner. <laughs> and these are trifocals. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, uh, shit sucks. Just be great. And that's our final word. This was Rapid Fire Q&A. Thank you to Travis, Bonnie, Drew, Quelle, Cliff, and Gene.